Hi guys. <laughs> uh, so this little one here uh, decided to skip his nap time. So he is on my lap. Now, and of course, uh, my dog barged in here. You guys met her, Diggs. Now she's gonna. Wh where are you going? Uh, get on the bed. On the bed. You could be on the bed. Or on side. Wh where are you going? Up there. Oh, on the bed. Diggs, come here. Up. Oh. It's chaotic. My life is very chaotic. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna read Purple Hyacinth, episode 126. Hopefully he is in agreement with me and I can read, sorry, um, this episode without any issues. All right, Purple Hyacinth, episode 126. Are you gonna sit right here, okay? Here we go. Oops. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh. Mm. Huh? Ah. <gasps> uh, you're staring, Ken. Uh, I feel like my time on this earth has been blessed by the sight of an angel descended from the skies. Who is she? A friend of the family, and Hawk's ideal daughter-in-law. <gasps> daughter-in-law? Uh, good evening to you both. You and Lauren already know each other. Mm. Nice to see you again, Miss Sinclair. But this is my- this is Ken Liddell, my trusted surgeon. Sergeant. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Liddell. I heard William talk about you. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Uh, pleased to meet you too, my be- my lady. You're with William? Willie Lame? How? You're too pretty. Oh. <laughs> you didn't tell us you would be coming here tonight, Will. Much less in such good company. Uh, it was a spontaneous idea, actually, and William was so kind to accept when I asked him to come with me. I'm very excited for tonight. She's lying. I am as well. William is always so busy, just like you, I assume. I'm glad I could steal him for one night. I wouldn't want him to forget about me. Hopefully, you don't have to work too late and get to enjoy your night as well. Is he alright? I know that mask of perfection. Something's bothering him. It's good that they made this premiere of fundraising. Looks like it's a full house tonight. Uh, I would love to talk more with you both, but I believe we are keeping up the line. Right, uh, we should probably be doing our job. What is my baby doing? Uh, could you please lift your arms? Oh. Hmm? Thank you. Wish you both a wonderful time. Have fun! Oh. Kim. Kim! Daughter-in-law? They're engaged? No, though their respective families are doing everything they can to convince them to. Oh, she's so pretty. I wouldn't need much convincing if I were Will. But beauty is not all that people need. It's just a perk. I don't think Will is particularly looking forward to a marriage right now. This opera house is so beautiful. Uh, huh? She's looking at all the exit and doors. It truly is. Do you often go to the theater? On rare occasions, when I'm invited. Uh, 
May I ask you something, William? Yes, my lady. Can we both agree to drop the bullshit act when we're by ourselves? Oh? Oh? Forgive my bluntness, but come on. I know you're just trying to be polite and respect society's conventions and etiquette and yada yada yada. I... I know, because I do too. Not for pleasure, trust me. But I can tell when someone's acting too. You're quite observant. <laughs> I've been told so. Also, no offense, but since we're being honest here, I might as well tell you that it was never going to work between us. Oh yeah? Why not? I'm gay. Oh, oh, snap. I did not expect that. Oh, I see. <laughs> no offense, but I am really glad you don't actually want to marry me. Wow, that is crazy. Oh, well, Ken, you have a shot. Great. Now that a disastrous marriage has been avoided, shall we be friends? Ah. My baby won't sit still. I'm trying to finish this. Of course. But then, why is your family trying to find you a husband? Oh, you know, the good old desire to get a male heir and ensure their oh-so-ancient and noble bloodline lasts eternally even if i told them my real inclinations they'll never let me decide otherwise i am sorry to hear that it must feel like you're trapped in your own life it does seems like both our families do what they think is best for us without realizing how wrong they are sometimes Sometimes I wish I could just walk away from it all. The wealth, the dresses and jewels, the hypo hypocrisy, disguise myself and disappear. Don't you ever... Perhaps once or twice. So, since we still have a, have a few minutes of daydreaming before the play begins, tell me. William. How is she? Who? The girl that makes you so glad you don't need to marry me. <laughs> That's so cute. Hey, since almost everyone's already here, boss wants you to move inside the theater room. You're covering the... Uh, me mezzanine? can't say that word. I'll take over the security check here. Understood. Yes, we're getting to see the play. I love my job. Yeah, we're here to work. Remember, Kim? Oh. oh. Can I see? No. Anyways, we're here to work, Kim. Come on. She's getting jealous or what? Will seemed a bit off earlier, didn't he? So you noticed too. I hope nothing bad happened. I hope so as well. Hmm. Lauren, there's something I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mirage Opera House would like to thank you all for being here tonight. All the money from the premiere will be donated to schools on the South Shore and other charitable causes. Huh? 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 Is that him?
there's a face now okay well 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 okay so for me the white hair kind of makes me feel like that is um lauren's childhood friend like you know because he had white hair but well okay new character being introduced all right guys i gotta sign out here because i have this little nugget and i want him to uh play on his mat so he get tired out so he will sleep tonight yes all right guys say bye to the baby bear baby bear baby bear yeah okay say bye Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.